Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So let's see what's going on. You've got versatility over here. So uh, there is a need uh, for you to consider all your options. There's a lot of change coming in. And, you know, uh, you, it looks like you are weighing up a lot of uh, uh, things here. So you may be c looking at a lot of different um ways of doing certain things, uh, you know, considering all the options available for you. So you're looking, uh, you know, you're considering everything around you, uh, looking into different um, avenues in order for you to get some, uh, this project that you're doing or whatever you're working at, uh, you know, you're getting a lot of input from a lot of people. Uh, you've got the offering card up here. So there has been some kind of sacrifice that you made recently, maybe that sacrifice of time or some something to get to the top over here. So you are in some kind of leadership authority position over here, calling the shots, uh, but it looks like you've made some kind of sacrifice um, of maybe of your time really uh, to get um, to that particular position. You are dealing with a lot of people, uh, there's the rivalry card of here, a lot of competition, uh, you know, and um, you're having to strategize, you're having to make plans, you're having to think very, very carefully, and maybe this is the reason why you've got the versatility card, so you're having to embrace the new or make, you know, change the way you view things or the way you do things, really, in order for you to get that upper hand over that competition that you're dealing with at the moment. So in the past, you've got that disorientation card. So you had some kind of choice to make, and you really didn't know what you wanted to do. So there was a bit of confusion that went on over there. Um, and then it looks like there's something that came in. You've got that sun card. Inspiration came in. Clarity came in. It was brought in by somebody. So somebody gave you a new idea, or you got some new ideas, and this is how you've been managing to move forward. You've made some big changes with that versatility card. Now going into the future, you've got a renaissance. So whatever new ideas you brought in uh, or whatever old ideas you brought in, you're adding a new spin to it and you're making a change and getting rid of the old way you used to do things and moving on to the future, you know, in order for you to make progress. So that's coming into the future about using all these new ideas to make change, letting go of the past uh, or the, the old ways of doing things and following new tradition. The high priestess is about, you know, learning new ways of doing things. It's about her having the keys to the the knowledge or keys to uh, information. So this is about doing research and uh, this is about going by your instincts as well in order for you to get things done. So having a new way of doing things and looking towards into yourself for new ideas. So although you're getting inspired by everybody else, you're going to have to repackage these ideas and bring them to light. Uh, and you know you're gonna have to make some changes in the way you're doing th doing things. Maybe you've been doing things the old-fashioned way, and it's now for time for change. And you need to actually uh, you need to implement that because you've got a lot of competition that you are up against. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm using the Vanessa Tarot for the main read. I have put this deck into the description box, so please have a look. Okay, you've got the Four of Cups over here. So it looks like there's some kind of offer coming in for you here. You might be not so pleased to get it uh, because you see this woman doesn't she looks like she's not really happy about getting this particular offer but it is being presented to you uh, nonetheless and it is an ace of cups which means that it is something that is going to be pretty good uh, but you really don't want to consider it because maybe you not you don't want it or because it's not ticking any of your boxes or you know it's not up to scratch maybe it's something of a demotion rather than a promotion that you have to accept but it looks like there's some kind of new offer that you have to consider that will be coming your way now you've got the king of swords over here and it's crossed by the nine of swords so there's some kind of legal issue that you're dealing with at this particular moment there might be some kind of judgment that you're waiting to come through and you're very very anxious about it you're not sleeping at night so some kind of legal situation that you're dealing with at the moment and uh, you're going through a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress about it uh, you've got the hermit card over here so you've been spending a lot of time by yourself so this could have been very very focused on your work you could have been spending some time doing a lot of learning a lot of studying uh, and this has allowed you to be you know spend time by yourself uh, so a lot of enlightenment also coming in with the hermit but it's also uh, you know st um, studying towards 
becoming an expert at your field because the hermit is ruled by Virgo and this is about being very analytical, being very, very focused and being an expert at whatever you're doing. So that's been going on in the past few, um, in the past year at least. So you've got the Ace of Cups, uh, sorry, the Ace of Coins over here. So some brand new opportunity, a brand new job that you started. So it looks like you finished studying and then you're going into this brand new job. So new money has come in in the past few months over here. So you have started something brand new. Um, now, this is on your mind. This is the Knight of Wands. Now, you want to travel a lot more. Maybe you're planning on traveling uh, overseas and doing a new job. So the Knight of Wands is usually about relocation, traveling, going off, uh, you know, to see the world, really, and, and work while you're traveling. So maybe this is what's on your mind, and maybe you've been putting out some feelers or making some inroads into that or expecting some kind of news with regards to that. There might be some, maybe you're going to even be taking a business trip soon. Now, you've got the star card over here, and this is also about international communication, this is about international recognition, and this is also about international travel. But uh, this is about being inspired, and you know something has come in your, into your arena that has inspired you. You are, maybe you are communicating with a lot more people on a very international front, uh, you know, doing a lot of global kind of work, if you like, and that's coming in with that star card over here, and you're enjoying it, or you whatever. Maybe there's this new offer that comes in that allows you to do that. Um, and there are two. In fact, the, the card below it is that Ace of Wands. So there is something brand new coming in for you that's going to mean that you're going to do a lot of travel. Uh, and, you know, you're going to have to, uh, it's going to also bring in a lot of recognition as well. So you might have to, uh, you know, get rid of all your doubts and fears over here. This woman's emptying this, you know, this bucket and the water looks very dark. So whatever you have uh, afraid of doing, you might need to abandon that uh, and and uh, actually consider this new offer that comes in, even though it's something that, you know, you're not too pleased about. Um, you know, it might not appear to be really very important, but it might turn out to be quite important. Now, the King of Cups, you might be very comfortable in this particular job that you're doing. You might have a position of authority or, you know, you, you're earning pretty well, you're pretty stable. And maybe this is the reason why you're not too thrilled with actually leaving this particular post. You know, you're, you're in charge of a lot of people managing resources. So it seems like, you know, you're very comfortable where you are at the moment. You've got that Queen of Swords over here. So you have to make a decision. This is your card, Libra. And uh, the Queen of Swords is being very determined to get things going and being very organized, you know, um, but not seeing everything very clearly. She's got this veil of, over her eyes. So things have not quite been revealed to you yet. So you are also dealing with this legal situation as well with this King of um swords over here, some kind of legal decision to be made. And this queen of swords over here is that not everything has come to light. Things are still being hidden from you. Uh, you are determined to get things done. You are trying to sort out through strategies, but you are waiting for this decision and maybe th things have not come to light quite yet. There's no clarity just yet. You've got the seven of coins. You feel like whatever you have been investing uh, in this uh, particular job, has not paid off. So, uh, you know, you, this isn't your hopes and fears and you've got the seven of coins over here. So maybe you're feeling like whatever you're doing at the moment is, you know, you're wasting your time because you haven't, whatever you're investing is not paying off. And you're worried about that because, you know, you would you want financial success. Maybe in this particular post that you have, even though you're comfortable, maybe there's no more scope for expansion and this is the reason why, uh, you know, you need to make that change. And maybe there's also some, you know, some problems as well going on because for some reason or the other, you're extremely stressed and very, very anxious. And there's some, it's something to do with something legal or something official that is that you're waiting uh, to come to light. Now you've got the nine of coins over here, the eight of cups and uh, the five of wands. So it looks like with the eight of cups, it's moving away from old situations and old scenario, ending cycles over here, uh, you know, and moving off. Uh, or walking away from this established situation. So where you have the king of coins of your being very established, it looks like you're going to make a decision to actually leave that, end that particular cycle where you're very comfortable, uh, where you know everybody very, very well, and you're going to be moving on. And it looks like she's moving on towards this nine of coins. So it, it seems like whatever, you know, it looks like you're in the spotlight here as well. Uh, whatever you decide, this new job that you're going to be taking on is going to bring, bring you a lot of material wealth, a lot of independence, and a lot of satisfaction. And it looks like news is coming in on that. So uh, it looks like you're going to be moving on from this particular job. And, um, you know, 
And also, you can see she's turned her back with this Eight of Wands. Maybe the people that you're working with, even though you've known them for a long time, there's a lot of competition and there's a lot of problems with them and they've caused a lot of... You know, it's not a very, very nice environment to work with. There's a lot of negative energies going on, a lot of toxic energies going on, a lot of fighting going on. Maybe people don't get along with each other and it seems like you're going to turn your back on that and move towards the nine of coins, which is that independence and, uh, you know, financial stability. So this new job coming in for you, uh, something's coming to bring you into the spotlight over here so that you make the decision, turn your back on whatever that situation is that you are dealing with and moving on towards something that is going to give you a lot more wealth, a lot more satisfaction, and a lot more financial independence. So, and, you know, bring you, maybe bring you into this phase of being that king of cups, maybe bring you into a phase of comfort. So it looks like there's something that has happened in that situation that you are in. Uh, it involves some kind of judgment being made. It's caused a lot of anxiety. Whatever this problem was, there was a lot of arguments and fights and problems with people that you were working with. But it looks like you're going to be turning your back on it with the eight of cups and moving on to something else. Um, and, you know, that particular job that you're going to be doing, and this new offer comes in as well, is going to mean that you're going to do a lot more travel because you've got that ace of wands below it so there's a lot more travel coming in for you um, with that and a lot more freedom coming in and it looks like you're going to take that chance and you're going to go for it so i'm going to draw some cards from the fairy tarot and this is for the oracle read and it looks like news is coming in about this decision it's some kind of legal decision or official decision Seek out uh, an intellectual solution for your problem. A need to act quickly and decisively. Sudden and unexpected changes. So whatever this decision is that um, is going to be made, it's going to spur you on to leave this particular um, position you are in at and move on. So you're going to move away from whatever is going on. And you're going to go into something that's much better for you. There's been a lot of fight and trouble there. So you've got opposing uh, goals arising from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself and others, overly ambitious people. So you are working with people that are causing a lot of grief for you. You've got this five of um, rods and the five of spring, which is the same card, five of wands. So there's a lot of problems, there's a lot of competition going on, a lot of fighting going on. Maybe it's petty arguments that are going on. Uh, so uh, some kind of, maybe it led to some kind of um, official intervention or it led to come some kind of legal issue and, uh, you know, you're waiting for that decision and news is going to come in. And it's going to mean that you're going to move away from it. Uh, you're going to walk away from it and start something brand new. You've got the fool over here. So embrace your true purpose, begin a new adventure and trust yourself. Your road is open, so there's nothing that's going to be blocking or no obstacles in your way. But it looks like you're going to be leaving this situation and moving on because there's been a lot of problems, a lot of chaos, and you're very, very anxious and very, very stressed, and you've had to deal with a lot of problems. This Queen of Swords is feeling very, very lonely, and she's had to deal with a lot of heartbreak and a lot of backstabbing when you see the Queen of Swords uh, that has been going on. So maybe that's the situation that you have been going through. And this Queen of Swords is your card, uh, so it looks like this has been happening to you. So these people that you have been dealing with, uh, you know, maybe there's been petty arguments, a lot of power struggle going on over there, and a lot of vindictive words going on, and it looks like it's uh, reflected as well in the Oracle read, and so you're going to leave it all behind and move off and start something brand new, but that will be successful successful because it's going to bring in a lot of financial stability as well for you because you've got that nine of cups over there and uh, you know you've got the king of cups as well so definitely a lot more stability a lot more comfort in this new position that you take so accept this new offer if it comes your way uh, you know don't re reject it because um, you, know, you are too scared to move you need to make that decision to move on if it's if the situation is that troublesome so i hope this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it hasn't thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye